Welcome to another uh, question, past paper GSAC question in our edition. Now, here we are asked, what is 347 rounded to the nearest tenths? Okay, and to be very important, um, very important. This is the this is the word I'm focusing on the tense. Okay, now we, we have already we, we would have been already familiar with our place value system. So if we're speaking about tense, um, in this case I'm using my number line, and really what I'm gonna be focusing on as it relates to the tens, I'm going to be looking at the digits. I've just captured that area on my number line that 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 would show where this number would lie 347 so if you notice if I'm focusing on the tens on the number line then 40 would be four tens yeah so I'm focusing on this area so this is a 10 okay and here I'm going up and the next 10 that I would meet upon is would be my 350 Okay, because because it's tens, I'm really going up by ten. All right, that's just the basic concepts concept rather. I know that three hundred and thirty would be somewhere down here if I should extend my number line. Okay, if you get the general concept, I would have three thirty, three hundred and thirty somewhere down there. And if I should extend my number line up here above three fifty five, I would have three sixty somewhere out here okay 360 would be somewhere out there all right if you get the basic concept so i'm focusing mainly on the tens on my number line 330 340 350 and 360 now they gave us a number and this number here is 347 and they're saying out of basically what they're saying is that out of all of these tens that I have marked on my number line which one of them is 347 the closest to okay so let me use a red to no, let me use a green to highlight um, where my 347 is so I'm going to find it I have 339 340 341 42 43 44 45 46 47 so my 347 would lie right there okay so this is the position this is where I'm at on the number line okay and out of all of these tens that I have marked on my number line I'm going to look at the one that is closest to 347 so in rounding to the nearest tens obviously it would be 350 so 350 is the closest to 3 47 so obviously this is my answer all right 350 so rounded off to the nearest 10 would be 350 now I mean in class the teacher would say if you are rounding off um, this is what the teacher said if you are rounding off 347 to the nearest 10 then you know that this is the units column units column okay this would be the tens column this would be the tens column and this would be the hundreds column okay so that's the hundreds hundreds column now you would be focusing on this column the tens column since they have asked you to round it off to the nearest ten so you'd be focusing on the tens column which is the four now what the teacher normally says is that if this digit here in the units column is five or more you would just simply add one to the four in the tens column okay so what the teacher would say if the digit to the right next door to the right of four or the tens column is five or more you just simply add one to the four so essentially you would have three and when you add one to the four you would get five and you would have to put a zero to represent or to hold this place okay but I, I, I really felt um, moved to show you the whole concept on the number line to show you that really in reality 347 to the nearest 10 is closer in, in distance as it relates to distance it's closer to 350 than any other tens that you can find because 340 would be way down there 330 would be even further and 360 would be even further up there okay so I mean you can use any 
a concept that you f that you feel comfortable with whether this one or using your number line okay bye bye